What's going on YouTube? My name is Jason and welcome to the channel. Today we have an unscheduled box unboxing. I was uh, checking up on uh, my uh, pre-order with my regular watch dealer and then I was asking about a, a green diver. Then I think there was some confusion and when I went to the shop uh, apparently it wasn't the uh, watch I was looking for and so instead I something else caught my eye and, uh, and there you have it I've bought it and today we've got an unboxing of I said I wasn't going to buy any more of this but unfortunately you've just got to see this one today it's a very rainy uh, Sunday and it's going to be a bit noisy outside but we have got one Seiko I said I will stop buying Seikos but you just got to look at this okay uh, just let me open up lift up the box how do I lift up the box I've forgotten how to lift up the box uh, let's, let me shake it off shake it off uh, there's a reason why it's so tight probably you've got the blue manual okay so today we are looking at a eh, SRPE 45 J1 Okay, it's a J for Japan and we have got the uh, manual. So, we are going to be looking at the Caliber 4R35, which is probably around the same series as all the others listed here. Okay, just this is in a white box. White box, it's a bit creamy colored. For those of you very well versed in the uh, reference numbers, you know that we have got a presage. We have got this lovely looking, just let me pop it up, lift it up, okay. A presage. This is in uh, somewhat, there's no studio light, overcast, uh, it's a bit rainy outside. The Seiko presage. Mojito, they have got the Seiko Manhattan, the Seiko uh, Negroni as well. The Manhattan is the one in the blue dial. The Negroni is the one with the red dial of the same texture. This somewhat, does it not remind you of the uh, Peacock? The Peacock uh, dial from one of the Grand Seiko. A simpler form but this has got uh, Roman numerals just let me try to uh, shift my boxes a while so just some specs for you uh, the watch uses the 4R35 movement uh, 23 jewels has a power reserve of 41 hours and uh, the crystal is a box shaped hardlex glass water resistance of uh, up to 5 bar which is 50 meters means you can only wash your hands with this you know a very undecorated movement at the back uh, the diameter is a much smaller 38.5 mm uh, wears thinner than the old the, the old cocktail time that I've got I haven't got one in comparison but I'm just going to do one quick unboxing uh, most of the cocktail time, they come with the stainless steel bracelet, but this has come in a soft uh, leather calf uh, strap with the deployment uh, with the deployment buckle. Okay, branded Seiko, signed Seiko on the crown as well, hacking and hand winding, and we are going to reach the magical hour for a nice shots. I think the re if not wrong the retail price the sticker price is six hundred Singapore dollars but you should be able to get a discount at most places even at the Seiko boutique. Uh, this comes with the uh, Arabic numerals in gold and the gold seconds and hour hand and on the green. Uh, my wife when my wife saw it yesterday she said it reminded her of. The peppermint leaves and incidentally mojito uh, is my favorite uh, go-to drink previously if uh, I was looking for a uh, cocktail 
I was at the shop. I was surprised to see this, and I'm, I I I saw the Seiko Save the Ocean Manta. Very interesting, but again, it, that that's a diver. So the point is, the Seiko has been releasing the twenty twenty models fast and furiously because due to COVID, you know, the actual release has been halted. And then enough of the waffle, I just let me put it on my six and one quarter inch wrist. It really fits perfectly. Uh, I've got so many watches, but I'm going to tell you this is just going to sit on my box for a while. I may keep it for quite some time before selling it because this this is a green watch. I'm not sure how long the green uh, the green craze will stay. But lovely leaf like down. Okay, I, I, I won't say so much about the case bag or the strap, calf strap, 20mm. Oh, it's an easy, quick release uh, strap. So you don't really need the uh, watch strap tool to remove and in the process maybe scratch the lugs. So really, the I may go and take a look at the Manhattan and the Negroni. But so far, I think this is really a keeper. I was looking for a green watch. In fact, I was looking at uh, some ceramic divers or seagull divers, uh, the Orient divers. But when I saw that uh, they had this in the shop, I know it, it really looks more stunning than the, the pictures that you see on online. So I've got not much to talk about other than let you admire it in this lighting is there's no ar coating unfortunately as with most of the uh, cocktail time watches and of this price range but the dial detail let me see if i can let it play the light oh it's just too much reflection what a pity the handset the second hand is using the cocktail time handset as well the key difference is that there's arabic numerals here the deep window is framed up nicely and in the matching color, so it doesn't stick out. If it's, it were in white, it would have been a very, <laughs> very depressing. Okay, so just a quick share. I will put this, I'll change it up in another strap and put it in my watch box. And this will be my so-called safe queen. Okay, uh, nothing further. See you in the next video. Cheers.